Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make a simple wave washer with the help of curve through reference point and we will learn how to use boosted boss base feature to create this simple wave. Now here in this simple exercise, we are going to make a simple washer, wave washer. See here, you will see there is two circles and the diameter 200 millimeter. See here and here. And the gap between these two is 15 millimeter. Okay. Now there is a eight point at 45 degree each, and that point angle is 45 degree. Here you will see the vertical points means the upper circle and lower circle has in same line. The center point of both in coincide. It means in in one point. Here also you will see. And uh, there are eight points, one at lower, then upper, then lower, then upper. So let's try to make this with the help of curve. We will use the most important tool. Let's start with top plane a sketch. Now I'll activate circle tool and this diameter 200 enter. Now here click for construction, say OK. Now here choose star point and now we are going to add 8 number of star points. Okay. We will add some 4 more here. Skip. Now let's make some relation. Horizontal. This two. Horizontal. Now again these two. Vertical. The similar this two vertical now activate smart dimension click center point second point and the third point and here we can make defined angle it's 45 degree look finish now let's make a plane so i'm going to choose plane reference i'm going to use the same top plane and here the distance distance is 15 millimeter okay now here we forget to add edit this one and this is 200 millimeter that's it now hold control key plane sketch and click insert and here click driven sketch see click now see it's copy no need to draw now let's make few relations hold this okay let's do these two points vertical relation okay and these two points coincide. See, this is fully defined sketch. Click, hide the plane and you will see. Now, exit. Now, I am going to show you how to use curve through reference point. Curve through reference point. Now, we will start from this point, bottom. Then, top. Then bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Now here at bottom you have to see close curve. So you must choose. Now here see top and bottom. Say yes. Look. If we hide this one. See, the curve is here, but we need this is to show. Now, here comes. Now, we will create this with the help of looped tool. So, we will create four number of rectangles, even though we can use with swift tool, but let's try loop tool. 50, 50 and 4 the thickness. So, let's do it. 
front plane a sketch so corner rectangle okay now this point this should go four tap 50 enter see this is fully defined the sketch now exit now it's time to make the same thing here so again i am going to choose sketch control key front plane insert and here option called drive the sketch click and the sketch comes here now just drag this one drag up to this point select the upper one hold con control key lower one collinear see this is also fully defined sketch exit now what right plane A sketch activates corner rectangle four tap 50 and enter now look exit again hold control key right plane and sketch and hold control key insert drive the sketch now see this blue color means it already copied here just you have to drag drag and fix to this point hold control key the upper lines both okay again shift key collinear see this is fully defined sketch now exit okay Now here going to activate looted boss base tool. The first we have to choose profile. So we, am go we are going to choose this top points. Okay. Look. Now here we don't need to go any start or constraint point. We have to choose curve. So I am going to choose this one. Look. It took the shape. Now comes at bottom and here one option called close loop. So let's say close loop. See, it's going to make a close. Say yes. Look. It's washer. And there is no any mark, tangent mark here. So simply you can hide, click hide. Look. Even though let's apply appearance. Even though appearance from here solid, solid yellow seems more practical. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.